What is up, Stone Posters? Welcome back. It has been a while. I graduated from college, worked a lot farming, but we're back now. Hopefully I can do, do some more vlogs, do some more taxidermy, do some more fishing. My fiance and I, we have moved up to Nebraska, so we're going to be here for a few years, but I found some decent fishing spots, made some friends, and I've got my taxidermy stuff up here so we can get back to doing our regular videos and we're going to go ahead and work on this jack jackalope that we started on a while ago and we're finally getting back to it. I got it um, fleshed, stitched up, ready to go. We got our mannequin right here. What I'm going to do to start is add a little bit of clay into the ear canals here just so that the, the cartilage for the ears has something to stick to. It's got a little bit of support and you can mold it into like an ear base so that you have a smooth transition from the mannequin to the cartilage of the ear. What you're just gonna wanna do is take a ball and just kind of push that into the cartilage. You might have to work it a little bit to get the ridges out you want a smooth ball you don't want cracks in it it'll make it more difficult to work with later but we're just going to push that in and then push the ear down and that little pocket right there is going to hold that in so you can see the difference between cartilage out and cartilage pushed in with the clay down in that little pocket right there get a little bit more clay for this ear Work that together into the cartilage and pop that down just like that and you're good to go. Come around, turn it inside out, and then you can feel that clay in there. And you can kind of work that up into the cartilage a little bit more. And you'll also be able to go in from the ear and kind of work it a little bit, at least support it a little bit, and then you can work it in. A little bit better if you need to and once you get it actually onto the mannequin you'll be able to at least stick like a pencil or something down in there to be able to get that car or that clay worked around all right now we are going to put some borax in here make sure that it's completely covered in borax Here is my powdered borax and actually what I'm going to do is kind of dry this off a little bit. I did a squirrel recently and it was too wet when you put the borax in and it just makes it a paste. It doesn't really want to move around. It makes it a little bit more difficult to get it onto the mannequin too because it just wants to stick there and cake together. So we're going to dry this off a little bit and then put the borax on. Patted that dry with a paper towel. It's a lot better now, so we're gonna go ahead and put our borax in. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get the borax all the way through, get a good coat on everything. So we're gonna kinda open up the neck here. Um, you can invert it if you want to make sure that you get everything. There's just a little bit like the size of a golf ball right here. So there's not too much and I can actually see through the eyes right now. So I'm not going to invert it just to save me a little bit of time. Oh, maybe a tablespoon or so. We'll start with that and kind of work that in. Like I said, you want to make sure that you get everything coated. So you kind of get your fingers in there, work it around, make sure that it's coming out like of the eyes and nose. Make sure that it's starting to work its way through that. As you can see, it's falling through. 
so that means that you're getting it all the way through the body. And then when you stick your hand in there, you'll know that it's dry. You'll feel the borax, and that's how you'll know that you're getting it all over and get a good coat on everything. We'll just kind of invert it a little bit more. And repeat, put some more borax in there, get that all dried up. Don't be scared to put borax in there. It's cheap and you definitely need it. It helps cure the hide, keeps the bugs out, helps dry everything out. So that is one thing that you shouldn't skimp on. Make sure that you get a good coat of borax in and work it into the hide. Make sure that you're getting it everywhere. That you're working it, you're turning the body. And don't worry about getting it in the fur it's once it's dry it blows out really easy it brushes out whatever you do to prep your hide to finish it it, co it comes out really easy so don't worry about getting it on the outside in hair anything like that That should be good right there. Kind of knock out some of the extra. You can see it coming out of the face there. That's how you know that you got a good amount in there. If once it's coming out, you know that you've got it all over the hide. And I'm actually gonna put some of this back in here and just kind of work it into the hide a little bit more. And now we're gonna put it onto the mannequin. We're gonna see, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty tight just because the neck is so much smaller than the head. So we might have to put some soap on the mannequin to help get it on, but we'll see here.
mannequin. We got the hide on. Got it over the mannequin. Wasn't too bad. Um, our mannequin is actually a little bit too small, I'm thinking. Our ears are pretty far back, but that won't be too too big of a deal. We'll be able to just scrunch up the skin, tuck it in, and it'll be fine. What we're going to do now is start sticking pins into the eyes, into the eyelids, making sure that the eyelids are going to stay in place, getting some into the nose, tucking the lips into the groove that we cut in the mannequin. If you watch the before the first part of this video, you'll you can see where I've cut the groove in for the nose and the mouth. So make sure that you watch that so you know where we're tucking the lips and the nose. Pin up the ears. We're gonna get all of this set and then we're gonna come to the back and we'll pin that in and then we'll be able to come in and staple that and trim up the excess. Whenever you're doing this, you wanna make sure if it's, if it's a deer, a raccoon, whatever you're doing, a wall mount or a pedestal mount like that, make sure that you have plenty of extra. Um, there is so many cases that you think that you only need to up to the shoulder, go to the middle of the body. That way you have plenty of extra and it's a lot easier to work with. It's a lot harder to cut. It's a lot easier to cut off extra than it is to add extra. So make sure that you're leaving plenty of extra. So we'll start pinning him up now. The eyes are the most difficult part. Um, as you can see here, there's quite a few pins in there and I'm probably gonna have to add a few more actually. But the eyes are the whole attitude of the mount. So it's really important that you get those right. Um, I found that the easiest way is to take a pin and put it in the back, back corner of the eye. And a pin and put it in the front corner of the eye and then from there you can add pins in the, in between and that's going to be how um, you get the attitude that you want it sets the corners there and then from there you can either close down the eyelid to give it a more aggressive a look or you can open it up and have more of a scared look with big open eyes but you can just kind of mess with the eyelid and get the look that you want Make sure to step back, look at it, look how it looks from the front, and get the attitude that you want from there.
for the ears, I'm going to take a T-pin, put it down through the ear canal, and make sure that you go through the clay with the needle. Just like that. Make sure that you line up the ears so that they're in about the same position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that pin all the way into the mannequin, push it down good, and it is actually going to stay. That's what's going to, going to be about the main support for your ear. This one... Yeah, I think that'll be all right. So push that pin down in there good because that's going to stay. And then that's where the clay comes into play. You can kind of work that, make a smooth transition between the ear to the mannequin. Kind of push it down around the mannequin and that clay will help support the ear as well. And you can kind of twist those ears, pull them, get them lined up how you want them to look. And then we'll come back in with some cardboard and some more T-pins to make sure that they stay upright as it's drying. And once they're dry, they'll just stay in place. I'm just looking over, making sure that the face is symmetrical the eyes are the same, everything's lining up good. The ears are the same distance from the eyes. Everything like that. Once I'm happy with all of that, I'm going to come down here, kind of support the actual mannequin and just pull some of that hide Get out any folds of skin, make sure that it sits on there good, it's nice and tight. You can kind of feel around the mannequin, make sure that there's no big folds of skin or anything on there. And actually since this one's kind of ratty, I might just back it up just a little bit so that if I need to I can pull some um, fur from somewhere else to kind of cover up a bald spot. You can probably see right there, there's some pretty good bald spots. Um, so I'm going to save some of this hide just in case I need to replace some, some bald spots, need a little extra fur. But for right now, I think we're looking all right. We'll just pull this up just a little bit. Until you're happy with it and then we are just going to pin some temporary ones right right along the edge here and then what we'll do is we'll come in with our staple gun here get nice and close to the edge of the mannequin kind of pull the fur out of the way and put a staple in. That's going to hold our hide on. And then you can kind of pull out that T-pin. Ideally you would go around the whole thing so that you know everything's lined up and then staple it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to kind of get some of the, our known points like the back we know where that's going to be. The bottom we'll know that, where that's be, that'll be. And then we'll just tack in some staples there and work our way around.
here's how our back looks. Uh, and we can clean it up a little bit more later, but for now, let's, that'll be good enough. Um, I put a little hanger on there, so you can hang it on the wall. Our ears, we're getting there. Um, this one's fighting me a little bit, but we'll get some cardboard in there and get that all lined up. The antlers actually got left back in Kansas, so we won't be able to do those today. We'll have to wait. But for now, you know, this is going to be our finished product. We're going to start drying it off and combing it and we'll get it looking good. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Here's how we're looking now. We got it all dried and combed out. Um, if you've ever seen a jackrabbit mount, I think they always look kind of raggedy. I think that's just because that's how they are. Because this one, I'm pretty happy with it, but... There's definitely a few spots where it just looks a little raggedy, doesn't want to straighten out, but um, I just used a comb with a fine side and a little bit of a coarser side and an old hair dryer. And you can use heat, high, high heat, um, high air, and it'll be fine. And they're definitely made for hair. So unlike a duck where you just need air, um, doing fur, it's pretty easy, but if you can imagine, there'll be the two antlers that'll go about right here in between the ear and the eye, so but that's about all that we can do for now, so thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episodes.